a standard way to determine whether there's a genuine concern that a new vaccine might be causing a particular type of serious adverse event, such as, say, myocarditis. It's to compare the proportion of adverse event reports associated with the new vaccine that include myocarditis with the proportion that include myocarditis in all other vaccines. And to get these numbers, we need to look at a vaccine adverse event reporting system like theirs. The standard metric for doing this is called the proportional reporting ratio. Before giving an example, it's important to note that a serious adverse event report is one which contains at least one outcome considered life-changing. So, as an adverse event report could contain more than one serious outcome, the total number of serious outcomes generally exceeds the total number of serious adverse event reports. Anyway, let's take an example. Let's suppose that in VAERS we find that for the new vaccine, there are 1,000 serious adverse event reports and that 300 of these include myocarditis. And let's suppose that in VAERS for all other vaccines, there are 2,000 reports of serious adverse events, of which 100 include myocarditis. That means that 30% of the reports for the new vaccine include myocarditis, compared to just 5% for all other vaccines. And this is used to calculate the proportional reporting ratio, because that's simply 30% divided by 5% in this case. And so the PRR, in this case, is equal to 6 for a myocarditis serious adverse event. To be considered a potential safety signal by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, the PRR must be at least 2 and must also have a chi-square test statistic value of at least 4. Now the chi-square test statistic is a classical statistical test of significance that takes account of the total number of events and reports. In the example we just looked at, where the 300 out of 1,000 reports for the new vaccine and 100 out of 2,000 reports for the other vaccine, the chi-square is 361, which is highly significant. But if the overall numbers were far fewer in the above example, suppose there were 3 out of 10 for the new vaccine compared to 1 out of 20 for the other vaccines, then you can see that the PRR is still 6 but the chi-square value is just 1.9, which is certainly not significant under the CDC's rule. Now, the CDC conducted a PRR analysis of adverse events reported in the VAERS system for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines for the period December the 14th, 2020 to July the 29th, 2022. And for each different type of adverse event reported, the CDC calculated the PRR of every serious adverse event for each of the two COVID vaccines against all other non-COVID vaccines. They also computed the PRR of every serious adverse event for Pfizer against Moderna. The CDC refused to make the results public. Zach Stieber of the Epoch Times obtained the results of the CDC analysis through a Freedom of Information request quite recently. And Zach sent the spreadsheets with the results to myself and colleague Josh Gatescar asking for comments. There were hundreds of safety signals in this analysis. On the 3rd of January, Zach published his article about this in the Epic Times, where he quoted extensively from the comments that had been provided by myself and Josh. The article also appeared on the Children's Health Defence website. Those articles include links to the full spreadsheets that were provided by the CDC. It's just to give you an example of what they look like. This is the spreadsheet for the two COVID vaccines against all non-COVID vaccines preceding that. So, for example, here you can see all of the serious adverse event reports in the 18 plus group. What this is telling us here is that in the period of the COVID vaccines, which is from end of 2020 to end of July 2022, there were 73,178 reports in total that contained serious adverse event, compared to just 13,287 in all of those years previous for the non-COVID vaccines. As I'm scrolling down, here you can see the types of adverse events. Obviously something like anything to do with COVID you can ignore because obviously there's going to be a lot more of those associated with the COVID vaccines than what happened before. So ignore all of those. But look at all these others. And what you need to look at is the PRR over here. 
These are all above 2, and since the chi-square value, which you can see in this column, are all way above 4, these represent significant safety signals. Here is Josh's paper, the link is in the description below. I've pixelated out the summary here because I'm sure it would otherwise fall foul of YouTube's policy banning any information not approved by the World Health Organization. There's an uncensored version of this video which you can find on my Substack which is also linked in the description below. And there's this Substack article which contains all the additional comments, some of which were not included in Zach's article. And again, I've had to pixelate these out to avoid contravening YouTube's rules. But the link to the full article is in the description below.